Hi, Dr. Joe here, and what I want to talk about in this video is feedback. I teach a class at the college level called Motor Learning and Movement Control. The entire class is about skill acquisition, how to learn to move and do different dynamic skills. And probably the most critical piece of that learning process is feedback, because if you don't know if you're doing it right, wrong, good, or bad, it's really hard to make adjustments. I don't doubt that all of you are familiar with the 10,000 hour rule. But if you look at the research study that came from, it actually talks about how those 10,000 hours have to be high intent and have some feedback so that you can adjust. It's not simply just punching the clock for 10,000 hours. The reason this comes into play with speed training is we're going to suggest different moves and different drills for you. And to find out what's the best, you want to use a little feedback. So I'm spoiled here and I'm going to use TrackMan, which is going to tell me exactly how far I hit it, the curve, and everything like that. You can get things to monitor that for a lot cheaper, as easy as going on to Amazon. But let's say I've suggested that you allow your lead heel to lift while you're hitting. So we'll take your standard shot and we'll swing. And we see whatever club head speed that comes out with. We make the suggestion, now you're going to allow your lead heel to lift. And you can go to your launch monitor, or even to your camera on your phone, and you can see, did that lead heel lift lead to a larger shoulder turn? Did it allow the club head speed number to go up? If it did, those are important pieces of feedback telling us we accomplished our goals. If we didn't, then we have to look at why we didn't accomplish them. Maybe the heel lift isn't helping us. Maybe we didn't actually lift our heel when we felt like it, or whatever the other movement was. In golf, a lot of instructors will say feels and reels are different. What you feel like you're doing is not always what you're doing. And that's why it's important to get some objective feedback to find out if what you think is happening is actually happening. Again, this is just going to be another critical component to maximizing clubhead speed.